All it took was one split second of one play to have junior defensive lineman Richard Lee facing the possibility of ending his football playing career. I remember like it was yesterday. Um, we was running uh, what we call a Thunder, uh, Bronco Thunder, which is our 4-4 four, four front to stop the run. And I was uh, lined up in a one technique shooting the A-gap, shot the gap, and the running back was coming to the opposite A-gap to run through. Got through, wrapped him up, and uh, as I was coming to the ground, my corner came off the edge, and he would try to hit the guy too, hit me right on top of my head. And I actually saw it happen, and I was, you know, watching him, hoping his legs would move. He was kind of still for a little bit. And what it did was it compressed my spine, you know what I'm saying, and it popped my disc out. Then my disc protruded into my spinal cord, and it cut off my, uh, cut off my, like, the spinal fluid and stuff like that. Lee even remembers exactly how the conversation went when he first met with the doctor for an MRI. Basically, he just was like, uh, yeah, you season's done. I mean, he really didn't sugarcoat it, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, like, I mean, I, I didn't want him to sugarcoat it, but I mean, honestly, like, I, it almost brought a tear to my eye, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was like, this is something I've been doing for 10 years plus, you know? And then he just up and told me, all right, yeah, you, your season's pretty much done. I was just going into the office just to get a check, get a little MRI, you know? But the possibility of not playing football would have been even more devastating to Lee due to the time and energy he put into being the best player he could be. Uh, well, Rich, one of the hardest workers we have on the team. He's here every off season. And on the field, I'm usually on the offensive side, but uh, when we actually compete with the defense, um, Rich is loud. Um, he's always in the backfield. You know, he's getting the team, his teammates up, uh, getting us all up. And the locker room for games, you know, Rich is young. Everybody, you know, trying to get us better. So. Uh, if Riss is not able to play again, I know he'll be devastated and hurt for a pretty long time. Say you were able to come back, how does that affect your psyche moving forward? Like, do you um, feel like it's worth it? Honestly, <laughs> like when you do something for a while, you get used to being banged up. You see a lot of gruesome things playing ball. But uh, as far as the psyche, honestly, I told myself I'm not going to come back unless I know for a fact that I had enough time to recover. You know what I'm saying? I know that. My, my neck is strong, but honestly, I can't even tell you how I'm going to feel when I come back, you know. I mean, I'm going to just try to put it in the back in the past, but it's not like a broken arm or a leg, you feel me? It's not like you can put a couple bolts in there and keep moving. But this was not the first time Richard Lee was faced with adversity and the possibility of never playing football again. His senior year in high school, he was diagnosed with cancer and was told there was a good chance he would have to stop playing football. Yeah, I got diagnosed with non-Hoskins lymphoma, and they were like, yeah, you pretty much, when you go through chemotherapy, it's going to make your bones brittle and your joints and stuff. So they were like, you pretty much can't play ball again. And I was like, nah, like, I'm not letting that happen, you know what I'm saying, because I worked too hard to, to get to this point, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm not about to let this happen. So <clears throat> when I went to the hospital, all the scouts left me, though, like all the Cincinnati, all the recruiting scouts. I mean, they're like, this guy's in the hospital for cancer. Like, what can he do for us? Nothing, pretty much. However, with hard work and determination, Richard found his way to Towson University and has performed exceptionally well for the Tigers. I pretty much give out all my blood, sweat, and tears for Towson because they gave me the chance, paying for my education. Uh, they, they, they allowed me to do what I love to do and they let me make my mom proud, you know what I'm saying? So. Richard credits a lot of his success to his parents who helped him get through all of these tough times. Man, my parents were behind me spiritually, mentally, and physically. Cause just, like, my mom would always, she always calls me to see how I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Like, my dad, I just he'd always tell me how he loves me, you know what I'm saying? My mom too, and I love him dearly. His teammates have also helped him cope with his potential career-threatening injury. My teammates showed me mad love, man. Like, honestly, I couldn't have got through it without them. Like, because they didn't know how, how detrimental that was to me. Um, they know how much of a passion I have for the, for the sport and how much I love it, you know. Still, regardless of whether football will be there at the end of the day for Richard Lee, you can rest assured he will be successful. Whatever doesn't kill you make you stronger. So, I mean, I was very disappointed, but at the same time, I've done it before. And if I have to, I'll do it again. But 
I just gotta keep looking forward. It just, you know, it just makes me stronger. You know?